This video shows basic principle, how car battery works. Car battery has two terminals. Red, positive terminal. And blue, negative terminal. You can easily notice terminals when you see car battery. Main purpose of car battery, is to start the engine. After ignition of the car, rotation of the engine drives the alternator, forcing electrical energy, current, into a battery, where it's stored as chemical energy. Car battery applies lights, both inside and outside the car, woofers, GPS navigation, DVD, headlights. It is very important part of any car. Inside the car battery there are six separate compartments called cells. Each of these cells produce 2.1 volts of electricity and when all six are linked inside the battery, they produce 12.6 volts in total. In each cells there are a total of 16 lead plates. Positive plates, of which there are 8 of are coated in an active layer, of lead dioxide, PbO2 and the remaining eight negative plates are covered in an active layer of sponge lead PB. Together plates create compact grid. Bigger surface of the grid, more power grid generates. The positive lead dioxide plates carry electrons in, orange color plates, and the negative sponge lead plates release electrons, blue color plates. Inside of each battery cell is a solution called electrolyte which conducts electricity. Electrolyte solution is a combination of 35% sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and 65% water, H2O. To prevent the negative and positive plates from touching, a porous insulator is placed between each plate. Insulator allows the electrolyte solution to flow freely between the negative and positive plates. Electrolyte is composed of a solution that consists of up to 40% sulfuric acid, with the remainder consisting of regular water. The electrolyte, sulfuric acid and water, contains charged ions of sulfate and hydrogen. The sulfate ions are negatively charged, and the hydrogen ions have a positive charge. Here's what happens when you turn on a load, headlight, starter, etc. The sulfate ions move to the negative plates and give up their negative charge. The remaining sulfate combines with the active material on the plates to form lead sulfate. This reduces the strength of the electrolyte, and the sulfate on the plates acts as an electrical insulator. The excess electrons flow out the negative side of the battery, through the electrical device, and back to the positive side of the battery. At the positive battery terminal, the electrons rush back in and are accepted by the positive plates. The oxygen in the active material, lead dioxide, reacts with the hydrogen ions to form water, and the lead reacts with the sulfuric acid to form lead sulfate. This process produced 2 volts of electricity. Lead and lead oxide covering electrodes are chemical transformed. And when electrons from first cells goes to second cell they get another 2 volts. Time that electrons charge 6 cells, car battery has combined voltage of 12 volts. In this way car battery is fully charged, and has juice for car needs. After car battery supplies, all necessary things, car battery start to lose all his juice. Car battery must recharge by alternator, by reversing chemical reaction. Electrons from the alternator comes in through negative grid of the cell, comes out from positive grid of the cell. Charging a car battery causes the positive plates to turn back into lead oxide, while the negative plates turn back into pure, spongy lead, and the electrolyte becomes a stronger solution of sulfuric acid and water.
battery is recharged and ready to put out another 12 volts, unless if you leave car lights over the night, in that case chemical reaction is going just in one way draining the battery without possibility to recharge. And result is death battery.